In this video, we're doing basic trig integration, which is Jeopardy math. We have all the derivatives memorized forwards, and now we're basically working backwards. I'm giving you the answer, and I'm looking for the original question. So here we have an answer of cosine. Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. Therefore, when you integrate, you get sine of x plus c. We put a plus c because there could be some constant added in that turns to zero when we take the derivative that we are unaware of. In example two, well, let's see. We have an answer of sine. Now, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. We're missing the negative. So if I want to add a negative on the inside, I must add a negative on the outside so as not to change the problem. And now it is negative cosine x plus c. In our third example, secant squared. Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So when we integrate secant squared, we get tangent x plus c. So notice I'm giving you the answer you need the original question. Don't forget your plus c. In example four, we have a five that's in our way, but we can push that out in front and think of it as five integral secant x tangent x dx. Well, the derivative of secant is secant x tangent x, so this is five secant x plus c. In example five, this 3 is in our way, so let's move it out in front. We get 3 integral cosecant squared x dx. Now, the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared x. We're missing the negative. If I want to include a negative on the inside, I push a negative outside so as not to change the problem. And now this gives me negative 3 cotangent x plus c. Don't forget your plus c. In example six, we have cosecant cotangent. Well, the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So again, if I want to include a negative on the inside, I push a negative on the outside as well to not change the problem. And now we have cosecant x plus c. So again, you really need to have all of your trig uh, memorized forwards and backwards.